April 27th is Daffodil Day. It's a day to celebrate cancer survivors, encourage those still battling cancer, and remember our fallen warriors. Every year I would participate in the Canadian Cancer Society's Daffodil Drive. I would gather orders for cut daffodils from my coworkers, my friends, my family, and then when they arrived I would run around and deliver all of these daffodils and see how much joy and happiness they brought to those around me. This year the daffodil drive had to be cancelled and I was really disappointed. I thought about how I might be able to still help the Cancer Society with their goals for this year and I came up with an idea for my own daffodil campaign. Thank you to those who have already ordered for themselves and for those who have sent daffodils to loved ones across Canada. I have such an overwhelming joy for the response that I've gotten so far to my campaign. I'm so happy that I'm still going to be able to make a sizable donation towards cancer research this year. I thought I would share the process for how these happy daffodils are created. I start with clear sheet glass. I cut into squares for the size that I want. The yellow in the daffodil is the glass itself. I apply the powder right onto the clear glass. In the kiln, the yellow powder melts into the base clear glass at over 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. The glass is annealed for strength. Basically, the annealing process is realigning the molecules of the glass and relieving any internal stresses by holding that temperature for an hour or longer and then cooling the glass slowly through that fragile zone. After that, it's cooled to room temperature, which can take anywhere from six to eight hours. I drill each of the sun catchers by hand using a diamond coated drill bit. Basically, it's grinding a hole into the glass. Then each sun catcher is washed and inspected for any flaws. The ribbon is tied with a secure double knot to make sure that it isn't going to come untied. Each daffodil is protected with bubble wrap to ensure safety during transit. And each order is wrapped with care and then mailed off to its new home. Order your daffodil before the campaign ends. Go to glassbyheather.com and send someone you love a little hope and happiness. Please like this video and subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials, as well as behind the scenes stuff and the occasional blooper reel. Thanks for supporting Handmade and for supporting cancer research. Bye for now.